Carrom is of strike and pocket table game of Eastern origin similar to billiards and table shuffleboard. It is found throughout the East under different names though most non-Eastern people know it by the East Asian name of Karams. It is very popular in Nepal, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and surrounding areas and in the Middle East as well. In South Asia, many clubs and cafes hold regular tournaments. Karam is very commonly played by families, including the children, and at social functions. Different standards and rules exist in different areas. Origins the game of Karam is believed to have originated from the Indian subcontinent. Although no concrete evidence is available, it is believed that Karam was invented by the Indian Maharajas. One Karam board with its surface made of glass is still available in one of the palaces in Patiala, India. It became very popular among the masses after World War I. State-level competitions were being held in different states of India during early part of the 19th century. Serious Karam tournaments may have begun in Sri Lanka in 1935 but by 1958 both India and Sri Lanka had formed official federations of Karam clubs, sponsoring tournaments and awarding prizes. The International Karam Federation was formed in the year 1988 in the city of Chennai, India. The formal rules for the Indian version of the game were published in 1988. In the same year the ICF officially codified the rules. The game has been very popular throughout South Asia, mainly in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. It has gained some popularity in Europe and the United States where it has been introduced by the Indian diaspora. The United States Karam Association reports on competitions in the US and Canada and has a player ranking list as of the last tournament. The board and pieces can be bought in Europe or the US, and are usually imported from India. The most expensive boards are made to a high standard with high quality wood and decorations though cheaper boards are available. Some of the largest exporters of Karam boards are in India, e.g. Precise, Serco, Syndicate Sports and Paul Traders. Objective of Play the objective of play is to use a striker disc with a flick of the finger to make contact with and move lighter objects discs called carom men, which are thus propelled into one of four corner pockets. The aim of the game is to pot one's nine carom men and the queen before your opponent. Equipment The game is usually played on a board made of plywood. The dimensions of the standardized game is a 29 inches square playing surface on a board of lacquered plywood. The edges of the playing surface are bounded by bumpers of wood, and the underside of each pocket is covered by a net which is 10 square centimeters or larger. Karam Men Karam is played using small discs of wood or plastic known as Karam Men, sometimes abbreviated C per meter. The pieces are also known as seed, coin or pawn puck. Karam men are designed to slide when struck and are made with a smooth surface that allows contact with the board when the pieces are laid flat. They are struck by a striker of standard specification which is larger and heavier. Karam follows similar strike and pocket games, like pool, with its use of rebounds, angles and obstruction of opponent's pieces. A Karam set contains 19 pieces in three distinct colors. Two colors to represent the player's pieces and one color for the queen. The usual colors are white and black for the players and red for the queen. ICF approved pieces must have a diameter of no more than 3.18 cm and no less than 3.02 cm. The pieces must be at least 7 mm and at most 9 mm thick. The pieces have a plain, rounded edge. The mass of the pieces is within 5 grams and 5.5 grams. Strikers striker pieces are used to push the carom men and the queen across the board to the pockets. The queen the red disc is called the queen. The queen is the most powerful carom piece. During board setup, it is placed at the center of the circle. In accordance with the ICF rules, pocketing the queen adds three points to the player's total score. The dimensions of the queen must be the same as those of other Karam men. 
The player must pocket the queen and subsequently pocket a carom man of the player's own color. This is termed covering the queen. If by mistake, a player puts the carom man of the opposite team in the pocket after pocketing the queen, then the queen has to be placed in the center of the carom board again. If the player fails to pocket a subsequent carom man, the queen is replaced at the center of the circle. If the player pockets his or her opponent's last carom man before pocketing the queen, then the other player wins that board. If a player puts the queen and a carom man of the player's own color in the pocket with one use of the striker, the queen is automatically covered, no matter which went first. Powder fine-grained powder is used on the board to enable the pieces to slide easily. Boric acid powder is the most commonly used for this purpose. Boric acid has recently been reclassified by the EU as toxic for reproduction. In the UK, many players use a version of anti-set-off spray powder from the printing industry which has specific electrostatic properties with particles of 50 micrometers in diameter. The powder is made from pure food-grade vegetable starch. Standardize rules and regulations. The ICF promulgates international rules of CARAM. ICF acts as the governing body of CARAM. The organization also ranks players, sanctions tournaments and presents awards. ICF has many national affiliates such as the All India CARAM Federation, Australian CARAM Federation, and United States CARAM Association. The TOS order of play is determined by the process of calling the CARAM men, or the TOS. Before commencing each match, an umpire hides one black carom in one hand and one white carom man in the other hand. The players guess which color carom man is being held in each hand. The player who guesses correctly wins the toss. The winner of the toss strikes first, which is called the opening break. The winner of the toss has the option to change sides from white to black and give up to the opening break. The winner of the toss may not pass this decision to the other player. If the winner of the toss chooses to change sides then the loser must strike first. The player taking the first shot gets to play white carom men. The opponent plays black. Shooting the aim of the game is to pot one's nine carom men and the queen before your opponent does. A successful pot entitles the player to shoot again. This means that, like ball and snooker, a player may pot all his pieces and cover the queen from the start of the game without the opponent being given the chance to shoot. Any player pocketing the queen is required to cover it by immediately pocketing one of their carom man on the entitlement shot. If after potting the queen the player fails to cover it then the queen is returned to the center of the table. It is illegal to pot the queen after the last piece since the queen must always be covered. Thumbing is allowed by International Carom Federation which allows the player to shoot with any finger including the thumb. Crossing the diagonal lines on the board by coming in touch with it, or pocketing the striker is a foul. A player needs to ensure that his striking hand does not infringe. Cross the diagonal lines aerially, physically. A player committing a foul must return one carry man that was already pocketed. If a player pockets his striker, he has to pay a penalty. This penalty is usually 10 points. Variance Family point carom simple point carom is a variant that is very popular with the young and old, or when playing with an odd number of players. Players are allowed to pocket carom men of any color. A majority of people play by the following simple rules. The objective of play is to use a striker disc with a flick of the finger to make contact with and move a carom man into one of four corner pockets. Typically a black carom man gives 5 points, white, khaki color gives 10 points and red color gives 25 points to the player. Pocketing the queen must be followed by pocketing another carom man on the same strike. To get red color points, one needs to put a carom man of any color in the pocket after the queen. If the player fails to cover the queen in this fashion, the queen is put back in the center of the board. The player or team will win if they have the most points. 
sets of 1, 3 or 5 are common. With the points system, if one team player gets queen points early in the game, the opponent still has a good chance to win by earning more points. This style of play is widely accepted in many areas of South Asia. Point Karam Point Karam is a variant that is popular with children or an odd number of players. Game play is as described above with a variation. Players are allowed to pocket Karam men of any color. Karam men of black color are assigned one point and white color are also assigned one point. The red queen is assigned three points. Pocketing the queen must be followed by pocketing another Karam man on the same or subsequent strike. The first player to reach 21 points is declared the winner. If no player reaches 21 points, the player with the highest points is declared the winner. If the scores are tied, a tiebreaker must be played. Players who are tied select a color. They are allowed to pocket Karam men of an alternate color only on rebound. This style of play is common in some areas of East Asia. Total point carom Total point carom is a variant of point carom, in which the black carom men are worth 5 points and the white ones are worth 10 points. The red queen is assigned 50 points and must have a subsequent carom man pocketed after it. To win, a player must receive all the carom men on the board. After the first round the player or team with the lowest score puts all their carom men in the center. The others must match this score in the center and the players play for the carom men in the center. They repeat this until one team or player has all the carom men. This style of play is widely accepted in many areas of India and Pakistan. Professional carom Each team or player is assigned a color coin and can only pocket that color coin. Pocketing the queen must be followed by pocketing another coin on the same strike. The red queen can be pocketed at any time after sinking your first piece but must be sunk before your last one. After pocketing the queen, you must sink one of your caramen, thereby covering it into any pocket in the next shot or she is returned to the center spot. Once the queen is covered, whoever clears all the Karam men first wins the board. Queen and cover can't be on same pocket. The winner of a board collects one point for each of the opponent's Karam men left at the finish and three points for the queen if covered by the winner. No more points are collected for the queen after your score reaches 21. A game consists of 29 points. When placing the striker on the board to shoot, it must touch both baselines, either covering the end circle completely, or not touching it at all. The striker may not touch the diagonal arrow line. Shooting styles are very personal, whichever grip works for you is fine as long as you flick the striker and don't push it. Generally, it's best to orient your body in order to see the line of your aim while shooting comfortably. You may not move or leave your chair. For forward shots, you can use your index finger, middle finger, or even the scissors shot. Before shooting, try touching the striker with your fingernail to be sure that it's really on line. This will improve your accuracy and prevent you from hurting your finger. Karam men can be struck directly only if they are not touching the player's baseline or situated behind the baseline. If the Karam man is behind the baseline, the player must hit the Karam man by rebounding the Karam striker off any side of the Karam board or any other Karam piece on the board. Sinking the striker costs you one piece and your turn. But, if you sink a piece in the same shot, then two come up and you do not shoot again. After sinking the striker, your opponent places the due piece within the center circle. If you haven't sunk one yet, you owe one. If while shooting for the queen you also sink one of your Karam men in the same shot, the queen is automatically covered, no matter which went first. If a piece jumps off the board, it is placed on the center spot. If pieces land on end or are overlapping, they are left that way. If the center spot is partially covered when replacing the queen or a jumped piece, the piece should cover as much red as possible. If totally covered, the piece is placed opposite the next player behind the red spot. If you touch your last piece directly before the queen, you have to pay a penalty. If you sink your opponent's piece, you lose your turn. 
If you sink their last piece, you lose the board and three points. If you sink your last piece before the queen, you lose the board, three points and one point for each of your opponent's pieces left. If the striker does not leave both lines, go again. You get three tries to break before losing your turn. These rules are mostly played in UK and India. Dubu A popular variant of the game called Dubu is played mostly in Karachi, the largest city of Pakistan. In Dubu the size of the board is bigger than Karam, and instead of flicking the striker people usually slide it. Board Variations Karam boards are available in various board sizes and corner pocket sizes. There are smaller boards and boards with larger pockets. Boards with larger pockets are used by beginners for easier gameplay. On traditional carom boards, the corner pockets are only slightly larger than the carom men, but smaller than the striker. On boards with larger pockets, it is possible to pocket the striker, resulting in a scratch shot, as in pool. This results in a ju on a ju. The player has to replace one previously pocketed carom man on the board. When the scores are tied at a point in the Karen game, a tiebreaker is played. The team which has pocketed the queen does not gain any advantage. The standardized association and federation size is 29 x 29. Play surface with borders between 2 each to 4 each. Other play areas are not used in tournaments and competitions. A relatively rare series of makes among Western carom boards contains a variant referred to colloquially as a carom maze on the reverse, in which an entirely different game is played. The oblique side of the board is fashioned into a labyrinth via the addition of small plywood walls that restricts the carom to defined paths. The objective becomes to traverse the maze with a single carom and reach a region designated as the end of the maze successfully in the least amount of strokes, or to be the first to finish the maze among competitors. Various regions within the maze, often found in traps or sharp corners in differently colored or designated via artwork, contain regions in which the player's carom must not be caught when coming to rest. At risk of penalty of extra strokes or forced relocation of the player's carom to an earlier position, in solo play, course records may be kept for public tables. Japanese carom Karam was introduced to Japan in the early 20th century. Karam became popular as Tokyo Ban and it fell in popularity in the Showa period. However, Karam is still popular in Hikon, Shiga, in popular culture. In 2010 a Hindi, Bollywood, film titled Striker was released. The movie focuses on Karam hustlers in Mumbai in the 1980s. The Hindi film in Kush showed the ability of Karam to help four unemployed youths escape the painful realities of life. A Tamil film called Vilayada VAA released in 2012 was also focused on Karam board. Indian movies Manabai MBBS and its Telugu remake Shankar Dada MBBS, Tamil remake Vasul Raja MBBS, Kannada remake UPPI Dada MBBS. Also features a movie scene with Manabai playing Karam to heal an elderly friend with his friends and an orange juice.